Okay, g'day, Tony from Bones Birds. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Uh, I've got to do an electric fence for the Avery, so I'm just going to do a short video on a couple of um, little things I'm making. So. Rightio, so that there is the first one that, uh, that's how it comes out like that. And then, I'm making these guys, so I'll pop that one out of there, and then it comes out like that. It's quite rough. Peel the plastic off of it, and you're left with this white stuff. It's like a white, um, sort of plastic material. I don't know what, what it's called. Um, what I'm using this is to put my insulators on, so I put a flapper disc over that, get it all nice, and then it comes out sort of like that. And then um, these are the insulators that I've bought from my electric fence. I drill a couple of pilot holes on there, and then I've got some stainless steel screws, which I then screw through those two holes there. And I put two holes on the side, which I um, pop rivet those onto the actual Avery sheeting. And so this is a finished one here, ready to be put on. It just keeps them a little bit further off the Avery so I can definitely make sure I'm not going to touch the, uh, the steel and make the whole thing live. And then this is the stainless steel wire that I'm going to use. Um, it's only like a two and a half mil or something or other. Um, so I'm going to use that to run my two hot wires around the bottom of the Avery just to keep snakes, mice, rats. It's just anything possum. There's anything that comes near it we'll get a, a bit of a zap and then it hopefully won't come back so that's the plan and I've got the um, where, where is it uh, oh here it is I've got a couple of different sorts of insulators here if I needed to use those but I'm thinking the way that I'm working now I'm pretty happy with the way they're going to come out which I'll show you in a second um, and then this is the one that I've bought to put up so we'll see how it all goes, um, but I'll give you a look on the Avery, what I've started to do. So I'm going to run it across the front from the doors there, you can see the little black things which I'll go closer there and you can have a look, but it goes down across the front, down the side, across the back, back along this side and right back to that door. So, And as you can see there's, it's a fair way, it's like three and a half metres or so from the fence. It's about four metres from my shed and then on the other side there's nothing um, around the Avery so nothing can actually sort of get on other than a hawk or something like that or a butcher bird. Nothing can actually come onto the Avery that doesn't sort of come up the side or jump because it's, um, it's quite high. There's two sheets there so that's quite high um, and then it's also got the return on it as well so it's got this shelf which comes out and then it's got the return underneath here so anything has to come up there under there over and then around but um, that's how I've made the little insulators there so the wire can come around go across there around there and continue along that um, right to the other end I'll just do a string line down there once it stops raining but I'm just going to make them up now while I can in the in the shed so yeah that's what I've been doing so far and because um, I did have some holidays over Christmas and when I came back there was a snake in this big Avery stuck up in the roof and it did eat a couple of birds but it it died in there it got stuck in the wire when I got home I found it um, so I just want to make sure that I don't know where it got in but everything else there is no gaps everything's been everything's tight so the only way it could have is somehow got up and then squeezed through that netting that's that hail netting so uh, I'll try and eliminate every every area where they can get in because I mean the rat walls go way down deep in the ground there so like up to 900 in some positions so uh, anyway thanks for looking putting chicks on sticks cheers